Hey guys, I'm here today to report on the on the Bosch React saw. We've been experiencing some issues with it, and I want to talk to you about two things. I want to talk to you about the, the flesh sensing technology as well as the saw's power. My reaction to the saw, the React saw when I first saw it was wow! They ran a bratwurst through it and boom, the blade went away so fast I didn't even know what happened. Um, not a scratch on the bratwurst. I was so impressed, I couldn't wait to get my hands on it and figure out what all this Bosch Active Response technology was about. The, the, the technology is amazing. It seriously is going to reduce injuries and it combines advanced sensors, electronics, as well as mechanical injury prevention systems to move that blade down below the tabletop. Basically the saw, the Reax detects human, it detects human flesh and it rapidly drops the blade below the tabletop without damaging or cutting the user, damaging the blade and you can reuse the saw. You can reset it and get it back in operation in a minute or so. So we tested the active response technology and it worked amazing. It worked great. So the saw is very similar to the 4100 saw. The Reax saw features a 15 amp, four horsepower motor, uh, max motor, and it produces 3650, 3650 RPMs. The saw differs in that the 4100 saw is a direct drive motor, whereas the Bosch Reax is a belt driven motor. The Reax also has the sensors and advanced electronics that help maintain speed under load. And that might be the issue. We're not sure. One of the issues we've been experiencing when testing these saws is that we did it in the job site as well as on, on a, in the shop here is that we found power issues, serious power issues when ripping framing lumber, two by six framing, pressure treated two by six. Some of the cuts were fine, but many, many bogged down. And, and I'm talking about under normal feed rate. Now, we're not ramming these boards in. Uh, the saw sometimes seemed to cycle up and down uh, to adjust the speed under load. And it just seemed like it couldn't keep up with some of the rip cuts. And ultimately it's, it's forcing the user to have to slow down their feed cut way down or let the saw blade ramp back up, try it again. If the feed cut is too fast, the blade in the motor completely stop and it's just a humming sound. Uh, and that happened to me actually earlier today testing the saw again. You have to turn the switch off and back on to recycle, reset the saw. We tried three different manufacturer blades. Uh, we used 25 foot and 50 foot 12 gauge extension cords. We plugged directly into um, the outlet, 15 amp and 20 amp. We used two different React saws. Um, when plugged directly into the outlet, the saw was slightly better, still sl still underpowered. And underpowered is probably the right way to say this. It just seems like it, it lacks some power when ripping framing lumber. Uh, hey, look, it might be the result of the belt drive, the electronic speed control, or a combination of both. We're not really sure at this point. And look, there's no debate that this saw is safe to use and it's gonna save people's fingers and, and injuries. But we don't recommend framers purchase the saw yet until we can find out some more information on it. We can do some more testing and we certainly wanna discuss our findings with Bosch. So we promise we'll get back to you guys at toolboxbuzz.com, whether we do another review, uh, a video or a review and some detailed reporting on it. So stay tuned. down.